feels like We were good to each other, yes we were And in a room full of people we lost our sight We're only us and no others, only us But as we dove in to another video today we are going to be doing three super filling recipes for under 300 calories yes you heard that right you can eat a pound of these recipes each for under 300 calories before I jump into the recipes I just want to mention that this weekend only we are having 40% off all of our ebooks that means you can get my best-selling weight loss guide lean and clean for only $17 you can also get my whole foods a recipe book real food real simple with over 80 delicious plant-based recipes to satisfy your soul. Yes, girl. This book is on sale from $18 to only 11 this weekend. You can also get my epic vegan pressure cooking instant pot recipe book that has over 30 delicious, super easy vegan instant pot recipes. All whole foods, plant-based, oil-free for only 10 bucks this weekend. And lastly, my newest book, Let's Get Saucy, has over 55 Whole foods, plant-based, oil-free, mind-blowing vegan sauces for only six bucks, six dollars. And if you guys don't have any of our books, you can get all of them for only 38 bucks this weekend. That is a dang good deal. We don't do sales super often, so if you've been interested in getting any of our books, this is the time to do it. I will leave the link down below, the first link in the description box for you guys. Now that my little sales pitch is over, um, I just wanna say that before I jump into these, this has been really the key to my weight loss over the years and keeping the weight off. I personally am a volume eater. I love to eat a lot of food. And the good thing about eating a whole foods plant based diet is that it's very low in calorie density. So today we're gonna be adding a bunch of vegetables into our meals, keep the oil out, the sugars out, everything that's really calorie dense. And we're able to eat a lot of food for very little calories. That's the key to losing weight on a whole foods plant based diet. A lot of people think like calories on a vegan diet don't matter. They do matter. They do. I mean, I've had personal experience with this. I've gained weight on a vegan diet. I've lost weight on a vegan diet. And every time that my weight has gone up, it is when I've abandoned the calorie density. Oatmeal's done. And whenever I've gained weight, it is when I've abandoned the calorie density principles and just kind of eaten like more junk food and lots of nuts and lots of more calorie dense foods. But whenever I eat with calorie density in mind and I cook super filling meals that have a lot of volume to them. It's very, very easy for me to maintain a slim, lean body weight. So as always, all the calories, macros, recipes, ingredients, everything that you will need to know will be down in the description box. Let's get into the recipe. So the first ingredient we're going to be putting in our oatmeal is zucchini. I know you guys are probably like, WTF, Hannah, why would you put zucchini in oatmeal? Honestly, you can't even taste it. I like to just chop it up into small bits, but you can also shred it and put it into the pot when it cooks, and you really will not even notice it. My husband thought it was apples. Seriously, so I like to take the skins off just to make it less noticeable Also, if it's not organic, you always want to take the skin off of it Chop the ends off and then I just chop this into quarters like really small little bits just like this But as I said, you can shred this and you really won't notice it or you can chop it into even smaller bits Which I kind of wish that I did but I didn't do that this time I'm actually going to be cooking all these recipes in my instant pot, but if you want to cook this one on the stove top, just bring it up to a boil, cover it, reduce the heat to a simmer, and let it simmer until all the water is absorbed. So we're just adding in two cups of oats here, our zucchini, and one super ripe banana. You want to make sure your bananas are ripe because the riper that they are, the more sugar content they have in them, and the more creamy that they will make the oatmeal. Then we're going to be adding in a teaspoon of cinnamon for some flavor. 
and also one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can get really creative with this and add in like cocoa powder or any other kind of flavorings that you like. And we're going to be adding in two and a half cups of water here and putting this in our instant pot. We're going to be cooking this on manual high pressure sealed for two minutes. Once it's done cooking, you want to make sure that you let the pressure naturally release so it actually will cook for about 15 minutes. My Instant Pot was having trouble this day and it didn't come up to pressure for the first two recipes so I actually had to cook this many times and it never actually made the zucchini soft just because it didn't come up to pressure and cook it well enough and that just seems to happen every time I make a recipe video for you guys. And we're going to be adding in two cups of berries. These were frozen berries that I had, which just helps it cool down really easily. But you can add fresh berries or whatever kind of other fruit that you like just to sweeten it a bit. So I personally like to eat this plain because it's really low in calorie density. And I, like I said, love huge meals. But my husband would not eat this the way that it is. So you can always add different toppings to it since it's only 300 calories per bowl. You can add in some coconut, peanut butter, maple syrup if you want it a little bit sweeter or any other toppings that you like and you're still going to come in like around 500 calories for a meal which is pretty good for a pound of food. I actually made this lentil soup a few weeks ago and it's quickly become one of my favorite recipes. I just really apparently like things with lentils. So we're just going to put our Instant Pot on saute. If you're doing this in a pan, just put a nonstick pan over medium heat and we're going to add in four cloves of crushed minced garlic. A tiny tiny bit of water so I usually add one to two tablespoons of water and then we're going to be adding in an entire onion that we chopped up as well we're just gonna cook this for about five or eight minutes you want to just let it release some of the natural fragrances and then I like to add better than bouillon to pretty much everything I cook because it's super easy and it's just like a concentrated bouillon if you don't have this, you can substitute the water for any kind of vegetable broth that you have. I usually add two to three teaspoons of this into like a large pot of something that I'm making and it just gives it a really nice salty kind of umami flavor. And then we're going to add in some seasoning so we have some dried herbs here. We're also going to add in a 32 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You can use fire roasted tomatoes or whatever kind of tomatoes you like. You could also just use like plain strained tomatoes. We're going to add in a cup of lentils. Then we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients, which are all going to be vegetables, super low in calorie density. So we have cauliflower, some chopped carrots, one zucchini that we've chopped up nice and small once again. Zucchini is super versatile because it's like tofu. It just kind of takes on the flavor of whatever you put it into. We have some green beans, which you can use fresh or frozen. And then we're just going to add in one cup of water. I only added in one cup because I like it to be a bit thicker, but you can always add in more if you want it to be more soupy. Put this on manual again, sealed for 20 minutes and let it naturally release. This soup is really delicious on its own. It has a lot of good flavor in there. Another thing that I like to do though is eat it with a side of rice and put some like hummus or cashew sour cream on top. Makes it really, really good, but get creative. You can put it over potatoes, put it on all different kinds of stuff. For these cauliflower mashed potatoes, we're going to put about two to three inches of water in the bottom of our Instant Pot and add a steamer tray. So personally, I like to add a steamer tray whenever I am cooking potatoes or steaming anything, obviously. But for mashed potatoes, if you cook them in the water, they do get really watery because they take on a lot of 
the water that's in the pot. If you steam them, they just get really soft, which is why I like to use red potatoes. They're super creamy and they don't feel like watery when you mash them together. We're going to be adding in a half a head of cauliflower that we chopped up. Cauliflower is great to add to lots of recipes just because it's really low in calories. It has a lot of nutrients in it. Even though it's a white food, it's super good for you. Put the top on manual pressure once again and steam these for 10 minutes and let them naturally release. You're going to take out the steamer tray and dump out the water and then just dump everything back into your Instant Pot. We're going to add two teaspoons of garlic powder. You could also sub this for nutritional yeast. We're going to add in the juice of one lemon and then half a cup of organic non-sweetened soy milk. Just mash that all together really easily. This is a really great side dish, but personally, like me and my husband love to just eat huge bowls of mashed potatoes. I feel like that's a vegan thing. I don't know. But before I went vegan, I would never just eat like plates of mashed potatoes by themselves, even though I've always loved mashed potatoes. Long story short, you can use this as a side dish. You can eat it as a main meal. You can use it however you want, but these are really, really creamy, really filling, and again, super yummy. All right, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, you can always add things to these recipes, subtract things from these recipes that you don't like. The key to this is really just adding a lot of volume and a lot of low calorie dense fruits and vegetables into your meals so that you can bulk them up, eat tons of food for a lot less calories. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments box below. And if any of you recreate any of these recipes, please take me on Instagram because I love seeing your guys' recreations. I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching and check out the sale if you haven't gotten any of our recipe books yet. First link in the description box.